Welcome to the Big Wax and Show. Today's topic is the value of seeing an esthetician. So I do want to go live on TikTok as well today. That's the goal as well. Hey Skin by K, welcome to the Big Wax and Show. Hey Miss um, Tish9899, welcome to the Big Wax and Show. Hey Mariah, hey, welcome back to the Big Wax and Show. Hey Trip uh, Yada, welcome to the Big Wax and Show. Hey Beauty Bar Z, welcome to the Big Wax and Show. Hey uh, Sean Money, welcome to the Big Wax and Show. Hey Wonderfully Great, welcome to the Big Wax and Show. If you are new, let me know where you are coming from. So I can and the people in the 3 Boxing Society can welcome you properly. Hey, Pure Lux Salon, Iowa, welcome back to the 3 Boxing Show. Mariah says, you look good, gave me a heart. Thank you so much, Mariah. I appreciate you. Good to see you. Uh, welcome to the 3 Boxing Show. I said, hope you are doing well. I am doing fabulous. Thank you so much. Um, Pure Lux Salon said, hello, queen. Hello. Give me a purple heart. Thank you so much. Y'all, I am TikToking today as well. But since it's new, I'm going to let it play and kind of just play around with it. I'm not going to be going back and forth so much this time. But I am on TikTok. Um... Trip Yada said from Long Beach, California. Well, you're not too far from uh, me. So welcome to the new waxing show from Long Beach, California. Beauty Bar Z is from, uh, I, I want to say Liberal, um, Liberal. Uh, Kansas, welcome to the Zuby Waxing Show from Kansas. There are plenty of people from California in the Zuby Waxing Society. There are people all over the East Coast. I do have a few Kansas. So the great thing about being on the show is that you will probably meet somebody who is close to you. It happens all of the time. Uh, or you'll find, a, like, if you're in Kansas and say you do, like, I'll do an example. If there's somebody who does services for me uh, virtually as their esthetician, but then they also go to an esthetician that I know of in their state. So um, you can always find people in here. So that's a great thing about being on the show. So for those of you who are new, welcome. And those coming back, thank you for being back. I hope your day is wonderful. Uh, I am talking about waxing that has been the topic for this month and next month on the show. Hey, Sour Patch Kid. Welcome back to the Waxing Show. That has been the topic and, um, I'm going to continue with that. I don't usually go live on Monday, but I wanted to go live today, uh, I will do the intro so you know who I am and how I help you. So that will come up. Some announcements, though, before we get started into everything. I'm going to pack orders tomorrow. There's a lot of orders, so thank you so much. I will get to them tomorrow. And uh, there's a lot of emails and questions, and so I will get to those as well. Uh, so uh, thank you for your patience. I plan on getting back to you. Hey, Gone Global 2, welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. Hey, uh, Kinsey, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. So, let me get into the intro. So, for those of you who are new, know who I am and how I help people. And then we're going to get into the value of seeing an esthetician. I'm going to talk about the waxing value of seeing an esthetician, getting your waxes done, and then also... Um, I don't know if the word would be spiritual value or um, life value, but there is some more value than just your waxes and seeing an esthetician. And I want to talk about that. And I want to talk about things that um, I deal with as an esthetician when I'm working on people 
and the value I bring and how that kind of plays out. Uh, Gone Global said hello. All right, so welcome to the Boxing Show. Welcome to the Boxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the Boxing Show. My name is Becca. I'm a pro waxer, skin therapist, and a licensed esthetician since 2010. When you get skin and waxing advice, you do want to find somebody who is a licensed esthetician. I've been a licensed esthetician for 11 years, and I'm licensed in California and in Arizona. I help people remove unwanted hair that's all over their body. Unwanted hair, acne, that's all over your body as well. Any type of acne you have, ingrown bumps, ingrown hairs, and discoloration, dark spots, hyperpigmentation. All that stuff I help people do. And how I help them do that is through full body waxing, which we've been talking about this month and next month, uh, with hard wax, chemical pills, facials, and products. Uh, the big products that um, I'm known for is my exfoliating pads because they help with all those different things. And they're a chemical exfoliant, so they're good for sensitive skin. And if you were here for the announcements, oh, my pump thing is, is beeping. I'll probably have to get up. Even though I don't want to get up during this live, I'm probably going to have to get up and get my um, thing that shows what my blood sugar is. Um, what was I saying? Oh, if you missed the announcements, you probably, this is really going off. Ugh! I don't want to get up and get out. I hate leaving you guys like just with the blank screen. Hey, uh, Zay, stay lace. Welcome to the Boxing Show. Um, if you missed the earlier announcement, then you know that I am going to pack orders tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to get it. This is a good time to grab your water because we are going to do some water breaks on today's live. So grab your water and then um, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, I hate to look. So you know what that was. I started using the Freestyle um, Libre and it checks your blood sugar, so it's saying it well. If you are in the salon, usually with me, this is a normal occurrence. All right. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Keisha. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Uh, welcome to the Debut Waxing Show, Miss Pip Spa. Welcome back. All right, so I was doing the intro. I also help estheticians start their own product lines, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing technique. I do have a training that I'm training as esthetician in June. So if you're in the Orange County area and you would like a uh, Brazilian wax, it will be no cost to you to be a model. She's already a waxer and takes clients, um, I'm just helping her improve her speed. So that is another announcement. Message me, um, email me or DM me that you would like to be a model and I can tell you when the dates are and uh, you can be a model for that. Hey, uh, Silky Wendy. Also, I am opening up soon. I, don't, I guess I don't know what soon could be, it could be anything. But I am going to start, once I get my second vaccine, I am going to start being serious about looking at where I'm going to reopen. But I have a lot of new and great things. Uh, I have a lot of new and great things for those of you who are coming into this lawn to see me. So uh, I am very excited for that. Uh, like I said, I go live Wednesday through Friday at 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to know when I go live about waxing, you can join the Wax Lounge. Uh, click the link in the bio on Instagram at 3B Waxing. Join the Wax Lounge. I usually send right before I go live, and then I also send, like, waxing information. And I got, I've been getting quite a few of you guys telling me that the emails have really helped you. I got a really long email recent, last week. Um, it just really made me feel happy and I sent it to my husband and I was just like, this is why I do what I do. Um, somebody learned how to wax themselves at home and they just gave me some great feedback of like, oh, this is so helpful. Um, and a lot of you do that in the comments or like, and I'll post reviews and stuff, but you say that this 
me going live or anything that I've helped you with, whether you do a wax with me call or you just on the email list, it really does help you. Um, it helps you with your waxes, with your esthetician, with me, with anything. So that is what I'm doing here. I feel like this, I'm in my ministry. Hey, uh, Diamond Girl 717, welcome to the Be Waxing Show. If you're new, let us know where you're coming from. Um, and so I love hearing that feedback because that is why I do what I do and why I'm doing this. Um, if you want to know when I go live about skincare or skincare ingredients, then you can click the link in the bio and join the lab. And then now last, the last two months, April and March, I really focused on ingredients on the show. Um, and then I'll get back to ingredients after or starting in July. Um, and then if you are a salon professional and you want advice on starting your own product line or attracting clients, then you want to join the salon tea. So there's where you join. Hey, sugaring by friend. Hey, seven. I welcome to the three waxing show. Uh, but yeah, so those are the ways to stay connected. Um, if you're a salon professional and you are wondering when I go live about attracting clients and stuff like that, that will be in December. Um, I still email you and the salon team and I do pick my brain calls for salon professionals. But in December is when I will be doing dedicating to uh, salon professionals the show. And I'm looking to have some special guests on. You guys know I like uh, Dr. Lash's aesthetics. She teaches as well. And I wanted to have her on for December and she was game for it, but I let the time get get past me. So I am going to, my idea is to have a lineup of other salon professionals and have me talking. So there'll be information there. That's the intro. Let's grab some water. So if you are watching the show, Grab your water so you're taking water breaks, you're hydrating yourself for your skin, for your body. Um, yeah. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. If you're on TikTok, I am double streaming and we're talking about waxing today. So the benefit or the value of seeing an esthetician. We're gonna be focusing on waxing and then kind of some like life things. So the for those of you who go to esthetician, let me know, raise your hand in the um, comment section if you go and see a licensed esthetician regularly, whether it be for waxing or for facials. I wanna know. Hey, I'm Fab Lash Beauty. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Let me know if you see a professional regularly. Yikes, it's dropping. Hopefully, I may get some can't get up and get a, a banana, but we'll see. Hey, with a lot of whys, I'll say hey back. So if you are seeing somebody consistently for your skin or for your waxing, you know the value it has. Uh, but I wanna talk about that. So. There is something to having great waxes from a great waxer. So we're, for the sake of this conversation, we're assuming that you're going to a very good esthetician, somebody who cares about you, who is properly cha uh, trained, who continues their education. So that's just the assumption of this whole conversation. There is a proper way to wax yourself. And you guys hear me talk about it all the time when I'm talking on the show about like how to wax yourselves at home and like proper ways to do things. There is a proper way to wax and protect the skin. When I am working in the salon with clients, I will tell them like, hey, I'm not going over your skin this amount of times uh, anymore because I protect the value of your skin over removing hair. So if there's an area that I'm like, it's stubborn and you know, I just don't feel like your skin can handle it, I'm not gonna go over it, I'm gonna tell you why. Um, also, a great esthetician, in my opinion, is going to go the direction of your hair growth, even if it means doing smaller strips and taking a little bit longer. 
So uh, I'm known for being really good with curly hair, waxing curly hair. And it is hard to find the direction of curly hair. It really is. Um, but I've been doing it for so long on clients that it's not, it doesn't phase me. And I just know how to do it. Like I've just done it. It's from experience, right? So because of that, I can wax somebody who has curly hair properly. And the proper way is the direction of the hair growth and then pulling out. Um, there's so many also techniques that go into waxing somebody, whether the hair is dry or the skin is dry. Um, how often they need to go and get waxed based off their skin type and their hair. How the wax needs to be pulled based off of their hair type. So there's a lot to the proper technique. And um, that's important when you're going to an esthetician, the way the pool is. So that's one of the values. The second value for seeing an esthetician and going to see them regularly is that they see patterns in you. A lot of times, and this is just in life, we have these habits, right? We just have habits in our life that we do. And if you are going to see somebody to get help, they're gonna start noticing patterns in your life that you may not be aware of. I'm trying to think of an example of something I've seen. Um, here is an example. Hey, Good Vibes Aesthetics. Welcome back to the 3B Waxing Show. So this, this has happened before with a client that I notice that every time, there's certain times around the year that they do not stay consistent with cleansing their skin. They do not um, cleanse their skin. Hey, uh, hello, I'm actually going to decline because I'm, I'm on a roll of talking. And I'm new to TikTok live streaming. But during certain times of the year, they do not cleanse their skin. And because I've been their esthetician for so many years, that I noticed these things. And I noticed around the right time, like, okay, you do not cleanse your skin. And I find out why, because they have busy season at their job and so because I notice those patterns I can base their skincare off of that if I know for example this person or you whoever I'm talking to is not good at cleansing their skin in let's pick a month April so April is the month that I know that you do not cleanse your skin very well you do not show up to appointments often because you're so busy at work then in March I'm gonna bring it up and be like hey every April we go through this where you cancel on me so we're not gonna even book any uh, appointments in April we're just gonna book you out because I know you'll probably skip them and we're just not gonna put that pressure on you we're gonna book you out of May we're gonna do a few more in March to get you ready so whether it be waxing or um, We'll do a chemical peel set before, if you usually do facials. I'm gonna have you stock up on some products um, and stock up on some some more pads because I know that they're easy for you and you'll, you'll for sure do the pads. Um, and I will adjust somebody's skin routine based off of the patterns that I see in their lifestyle. Um, Hey Shireen, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. So hopefully that makes sense, that estheticians can see patterns. A great esthetician will start noticing patterns in your hair, your skin type, your life, and will help you with that. Another thing is that estheticians, or the value in seeing an esthetician is that their job is your skin or your hair. Um, I've 
had a lot of people touch my hair and do my hair. I have a really great hairstylist years ago because because it was a hairstylist I had in Arizona. She actually follows me on here. She'll come on the show every so often. I always shout her out. She was so great because there was a point, I had only seen her a few times, but she started noticing that the reason my hair growing was internal. And there was a lot of things going on with me internally, but she knew that because I was going to her consistently. Hey, Miss T Ford, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Good to see you. Hey, uh, Sugar Scrub, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Oh, Trip uh, asked a question, who is better to see? I will address that, uh, acne dermatologist and esthetician. I, that's a good question. So let me write that down because I will get to that. I just want to finish this thought. Hey, Miss Ford, welcome back to the 3B Waxing Show. Or she's waving. Um, waving back. So, Sometimes we neglect ourselves, right? We get into these habits, like I said earlier, and we start neglecting um, things about ourselves. And we need somebody to be on top of us because it's their job to be on top of us. It's like holding somebody accountable. And I see this all the time. Um, someone will be like, I knew I was going to come see you for my appointment. So that's why I exfoliated. I don't care if I'm the reason that you exfoliated or you didn't want me to say anything or it's embarrassment. You exfoliated because you knew that. So sometimes um, when we neglect ourselves or aren't staying on top of what we need to do, having somebody there to hold us accountable is very valuable. Um, I wanted to go into two things today. So that's the waxing part of it. And then I wanted to go into like the spiritual part of it and people talking about their problem. Um, my husband was like, you should talk about that. And I am going to talk about that, but probably not today because one, my, blo my blood sugar is dropping intensely right now. Um, two, I want to answer this question and my battery is low. And three, I think it will be a good topic to stretch over. So if you have questions, drop them below now. Um, Trip, all I can't see our username right now, but they asked the question, who do you think is best to see for acne, a dermatologist and an esthetician? So an esthetician can see people who have active acne, but there's a certain amount of cystic acne um, that you cannot see if you're an esthetician. It goes into grades. I think if you are having breakouts and it is active, but it is not, um, it is not flaring. It's not like the highest grade of acne. You should go see an esthetician because an esthetician will help you with a skincare routine, will help you with um, maintaining your skin and improving it over the long term. Uh, and guide you through it emotionally. And that's really what I wanted to talk about um, further on, but we'll talk about more about the emotional side tomorrow. A dermatologist is going to give you medication or um, give you stuff to help your acne to solve, just solve the problem. But over long term, you're going to want to see an esthetician. So I think if you're really struggling with a medical problem, because estheticians aren't medical. There are medical estheticians out there though. But um, for the purpose of this licensed esthetician, we aren't able to subscribe things to clients. We can recommend things so or prescribe things. I took off the pee. You can tell my blood sugar is dropping low because I'm starting to get foggy. Yeah, I gotta go and eat and go away from the um, live. But I do think that there is a place for going to both. Um, I have worked with clients that are working with a dermatologist and an esthetician because dermatologists, it really is like a doctor prescribing something. Um, it's a lot of medical 
to get this problem away to figure out what's internal going on and they re usually recommend a nutritionist to work along with them and you can work with all three of us um i think an esthetician is somebody that you are seeing consistently in your life uh and then when there are things that are out of our realm that's when you're referred to a dermatologist so like certain types of moles like skin cancer we we cannot diagnose people with skin cancer and be like oh this looks like skin cancer but we can notice hey i've been doing your facials for five years i noticed you didn't have this mole i think you should go see a dermatologist um so i hope that answers your question about esthetician and dermatologist i think that's a great question that i would love to expand on on another show um i am going to go into how seeing an esthetician is good for you emotionally and we are skin therapists and there is a lot of therapy that goes into helping people with their skin and i want to talk about that but i can't do it today so if there are no other questions thank you for joining i will be on uh to talk about um more benefits of seeing an esthetician the therapy and the emotional side of it uh welcome to those who just joined if you found this useful join the wax lounge to know when i go live about waxing join the lab to know when i go live about skincare and then you may want to grab the checklist i have on how to wax yourself at home um, if you're interested in waxing yourself at home, click the link in the bio. It's the first button. And then uh, if you want to learn how to wax your underarms, click the second button. There's the tutorial for that. Uh, I love talking with you. I will see you. I don't want to commit to tomorrow because I may not do tomorrow. But for sure, I will do Wednesday. Um, but if I do tomorrow, it's because I finished the orders um, and got them out. Have a great evening and I'll see you later.